Vladimir Putin ordering troops into Ukraine, global markets are reeling. European markets down following a sharp sell-off in Asia. Dow futures also down. Seen a chief business correspondent, Christine Romans, here with a look at what could happen and why the world is really on edge, Romans. Yeah, Russian troops on the move, and so are global markets. Asia shares closing down sharply. Europe wobbling here, and stock index futures bracing. This will be the first chance for U.S. investors to respond to a weekend of worsening our Russia headlines. Putin's obsession with Ukraine sent stocks tumbling last week. The Dow alone lost more than 650 points last week. John, that's nearly 2%. But the big reaction is in the oil markets. U.S. crude prices jumping more than 5% overnight. Global crude prices up to nearly 100 bucks a barrel. Russia is the world's second largest producer of oil and natural gas. Any supply disruption from fighting or from sanctions would raise global energy prices. That means a direct impact on the U.S. Also, of course, higher gas prices. And higher gas prices are already here at a seven-year high. The national average uh, is more than 300, 350 per gallon, up 20 cents in the past month. But it's not just at the pump. All energy costs will spike, like home heating, electricity, airplane fuel, and other business transportation costs. And that will drive all consumer prices higher. Uh, energy prices driving red-hot inflation at the highest level in 40 years. One analysis estimates that if U.S. oil hits 110 bucks a barrel, expect the inflation rate to top 10%. That puts pressure on the Federal Reserve to make more aggressive interest rate hikes to tame this inflation. John, that raises borrowing costs for everybody, right? On mortgages, car loans, and credit cards. So fixing the inflation problem will mean another problem, higher borrowing costs.